The engines love working when the sun shines. One day, Thomas and Percy were helping Salty at the docks. But Salty was worried. Ah, it may be sunny now, matey, but there be a storm coming. It may be sunny now, matey, but there be a storm coming. There be a fierce storm on the way, Captain, peeped Percy. Salty knew they were making fun of him. He felt sad. Later, Sir Topham had arrived. I want you to fetch Fergus from the smelter's yard, he said. His driver doesn't know the line. Aye, aye, sir, replied Salty sadly. Salty was glad he was going to the smelters. He didn't want to stay where he wasn't liked. What's wrong? asked Emily. Uh, nobody likes to be made fun of by silly tank engines. And he huffed away. Emily knew she had to find Thomas and Percy immediately. Those be dark clouds, matey, whistled Thomas. There be a fierce storm on the way, Captain, peeped Percy. Emily was cross. It's not nice to copy the way others speak. You hurt Salty's feelings. We were just having fun, said Percy. We'll say sorry to him, added Thomas. But Salty was nowhere to be found. Thomas and Percy were worried. Fergus was waiting for Salty when he arrived at the smelters. Right on time, congratulated Fergus. Aye, but there's a storm coming, said Salty. We must hurry. Soon they were hooked up and on their way home. Salty was right about the storm. It was a fierce one. The ships at sea depend upon the lighthouse to keep them safely off the rocks. But now there was trouble. The lighthouse lamp has gone out, cried the captain. Salty and Fergus were fighting their way through the wind and rain. Then Salty saw a lantern ahead. The lighthouse keeper was waiting for him. Our lighthouse lamp has gone out. Our generator is broken. Salty had an idea. Fergus has a flywheel. It could power the generator. Hurry, shouted the lighthouse keeper. Fergus's flywheel was attached to the generator shaft. Without the lighthouse, the ship was steaming towards the rocks. Fergus was working as fast as he could. Finally, the generator came back to life. The lighthouse beam shone across the stormy sea once more. Just in time, hard to starboard, matey! Salty's idea had saved the day. Fergus worked hard until first light. The next morning, Salty and Fergus chugged back to the docks. They were surprised to see a crowd waiting for them. Thank you, said the captain. You saved our ship. Well done, boomed Sir Topham Hat. Salty was very proud. We're sorry if we hurt your feelings, puffed Thomas. We were only copying you because we think you're grand. Then say no more, me hearties, replied Salty happily. Now they will all work together and have fun together, as good friends should.